Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. I'm Brad Smith, 313Z, and here we are. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars The Old Republic, and, well, I got, um, since um, Zed Ran is becoming more or less accepted, it with into the Mandalorians. Excuse me. I decided to get some Mandalorian armor. And this, of course, is the Shea Visla armor that she wears early on. And it's quite different when you meet up with her. Um, and I think Knights of the Fallen Empire, but... Um, I like the looks of it. Of course, I have the... This is the uh, Mandalorian Bounty Hunter helmet. Which came with... Uh, and these gauntlets are from the same set, too. So, yeah. Just decided to... Um, well... Make him look like a, every other Bounty Hunter <laughs> in the game. <laughs> oh... It's going to be another hot day here in Southern Oregon, folks. So I hope you're all keeping nice and cool. Um, yeah, I'm already waiting for fall. It's... <laughs> all right. I, this is uh, going after a Jedi... Now, oh, Guild Conquest Awards. Well, oh, that's always good. Oh, let's see. We got crafting materials. Okay. Where's the encryption thing at? Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. And I has a male. Excuse me, folks. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh. Well, let's just go ahead and, uh... <laughs> All right. Well, that's always fun. And see, what else do I have for? Uh... Uh, I go ahead and take this. Yeah, I'll take this. Oh boy, prototype gifts. <laughs> oh, let's see. oh, dear God. Darth Jane Jane? Oh. Well, now what do we do? Okay, well, it's time for some gifts. There we go. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, well, and then I follow it up with this. You sure? Well, okay. Thanks. That's nice. <laughs> you sure? Well, okay. Thanks. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, let's get to the ship.
I like that look. I like the shade Vista armor. All right, so let's. Um, I want credit. Twenty credits. Seventy-five thousand credits. We need to check the rest of my tunes and see what they got. All right. There we go. All right. Making the final approach on the Aurora's coordinates. ETA, two minutes. Everyone up front. There she is, the Aurora. Wow, pretty impressive. Don't think they detected us yet. Let's see what I can pick up on their comms. Oh boy, the ship's on alert. They've captured an intruder. They're calling it an Imperial assassination attempt on the Jedi Master. Looks like there was a reason Blood always got others to do his dirty work. Makes you wonder how he got this. We've been caught in a tractor beam. Uh-oh. Attention unidentified vessel. This is the Republic Cruiser Aurora. You are in a restricted zone. Prepare to be brought aboard for a full inspection. If you offer any resistance, we will open fire. Well, what now? <clears throat> Sit tight. Let them take us inside. Nothing wrong with playing it cool. We wouldn't stand a chance against a cruiser. Okay, Taro, we're coming for you. That's cool. I think this is how I do it. Still haven't learned yet when uh, update 7. Oh, here we go. Just in case. Halt! You are under arrest. Lay down your weapons. You better have a good reason for this. Conspiracy to commit an act of terrorism against the Republic. We captured your accomplice, one Taro Blood, who implicated you when he confessed under Master Jaro's questioning. Hmm. You've made a mistake. Let's let the Jedi sort it out. So you can attempt your assassination? How stupid do you think I am? Well... Time to join your friend in the brig. You can plea your case when we ship you to Coruscant to stand trial. This is your last warning. Drop your weapons and surrender, or we will open fire. Sorry, I want my blaster handy when I see Taro. You were warned! Open fire! All right, I think we can head this way. Okay, 
so we can get to the At least it's all pretty throw a turtle and stuff. Let's get hit myself up with some uh just my combat stamina. Okay, maybe we can find some easier targets up that way. Oh yeah, I didn't, I was not following, oh hell.
we go. Yeah, I guess it's... I should have... So there's on oh, hell. So, you're still alive, huh? You might be worth killing after all. Hurry up and let me out of here so we can settle this once and for all. Unless facing me as an equal frightens you. <clears throat> you're not my equal. You failed. So, you're a coward, is that it? Come on, surprise me. Open the door and face me like a warrior. I think I'll leave you in there. I challenge you. I demand we settle this. It's what Song would have wanted. It's what Brayden would have wanted. Brayden would have wanted to see you just how you are. You don't deserve a warrior's death, scumbag. Let's leave him. Let him die when the ship is ripped to pieces. Works for me. <laughs> no! You can't let me die like this! I'm Taro Blood, you worthless piece of filth! I'm the future of the Mandalorians! Mm, no. So long, Slimeball. Let me out, damn you! You can't do this to me! I'm Taro Blood! Taro Blood! Well, yeah, I did do it to him. And that should be the last of that son of a bitch. Oh, 
out. Really? Grab that vendor trash, everyone. The world runs on vendor trash, I tell you. quite a bit of trouble but I'm afraid it's over now I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender that's not gonna happen then I'll have no choice but to subdue you you will drop your weapons and surrender to me <laughs> I can wave my hands you will realize what a complete idiot you are master be still Padawan I will take care of this this bounty hunter has a much stronger will than the other one. Listen, I know the Mandalorians want me dead, but the Battle of Coruscant was years ago. Revenge profits no one. I implore you not to throw your life away. Abandon this hunt. You have your codes, I have mine. Always fulfill a contract. Fendus, your lightsaber. Bounty hunter, kill me just like you killed my master. Go on. 
I'm turning this ship to dust in a minute. I suggest you not be on it. We'll meet again, Bounty Hunter. I swear it. I'm glad you let her go. You did the right thing. I'm glad you approve. Hey, there's perks to being on my good side. The cruiser can be set to jump into hyperspace at the bridge controls. Deactivating the tractor beam would also be a good idea. Then I'd blast the control panel just to be sure no one reverses what you've done. Then we run. Okay. Oh yes, he's all worth waxing. Guys. I got time to get rid of vendor trash. Oh, wow. Excuse me. I knew you would! You're amazing. It was pretty impressive work, and believe me, I know impressive. You're <clears throat> my hero. You know that, right? Let's focus. Don't want to be the crew that was almost crowned Great Hunt Champions. Right. But still, Brayden would have been so proud. So would Soong. You're who they were talking about when they spoke of Great Hunters. Uh, we... It has been quite a ride. It hasn't all been fun, but this feels pretty good. And trust me, the celebration's just starting. We should return to the Mandalorian Enclave on Drummond Koss to officially inform the Huntmaster of your victory. There'll be some sort of ceremony. Mandalorians are big on that. 
I'm sending them the news right now. Okay. So let's, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I want to look fine for the occasion. Oh, wait a second. I'll go ahead and. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we So I think this is the end of part one. Oh yeah, last time I was here I shot my way out. So glad they don't remember. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Okay, I'm sorry. I must confess, I find this so cool to be armored up like this, riding a speeder bike. I know, I know. Roman Cass, you are so much for lovers. Yeah, I like the summer a little bit better.
the hunter returns a hero. Sure is good to see you all in one piece. Let's get on with business. The Huntmaster's waiting for you in the main room. Go on in. Oh, and Hunter? Great job. All right. You've made quite a name for yourself in victory, Hunter. Mandalore himself requested your presence aboard his flagship. He wants to congratulate his champion personally. We're getting an audience with Mandalore? You've got to be kidding. I can hardly believe it. No more bit jobs and small paychecks for me. No, definitely not. Great hunt winners are destined for great things. The Huntmaster will address you now. <laughs> I consider myself fortunate, Huntmaster. <laughs> For Mandalore. Now I get to throw. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I now get to uh, pitch. Um... Grenades now. Thermal deto deto detonators. Let's see, I have everything. Okay. Alright. Looks like it. And let's see what I have on the others. Let's see. Ooh, volatile. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. All right. Well, Thank you. 
Okay. Well, I was just thinking earlier, I really want a thermal detonator. Now I have one. Okay. Let's talk with Mako. That new armor? I like it. it. Makes your arms look, uh, bigger. Not that they needed it. Hmm. <laughs> guys gotta make an impression. Nothing can be small. Except your ego. That's pretty dainty. Anyway, we've got things to do, people to hunt. That it? Entered Mandalorian controlled space. Vacate the sector before we use you for target practice. You have two minutes. Lack told me my presence was requested. I'm the victor of the Great Hunt, here to see Mandalore. Apologies, champion. I'll clear you for landing. You better. Yeah, I got turned around for some reason. Hey, look, it's the Mandalorians. Mandalore's waiting. This way. Mandalore, your champion presents himself. Glad a little war wasn't enough to keep you from meeting me, champion. I like a man who's not afraid to get his knuckles bloody. Welcome aboard the Spirit of Vengeance, both of you. It's an honor. That goes for me as well. This must be Mako. I've heard she's the brains behind your operation. Mako is more than capable. I've got a lot to thank you for. Shoring up that secret auction, avenging Hedersung, stopping that arrogant snot Tarot Blood. You had a good slog getting here. Says a lot that you aced Tarot Blood without stooping to his level. A damn lot. He was never any threat to me. That doesn't mean he was harmless. He could have cost us a lot. The Great Hunt isn't held for the sake of sport. It's meant to find the best the galaxy has to offer, usually to handle a task vital to the Mendoid. 
I have one more thing to ask of you before I know you are the one for it. You have my full attention, Mandalore. There is a cavern in the deep jungles of Drummond Kaz. Unnatural place, filled with all kind of abominations. There's something down there nobody's laid eyes on and lived to brag about it. I want you to kill it. I'll head to Drummond Kaz now. My clans send their most promising warriors to bloody themselves on the beasts in the cavern. Head to their camp at these coordinates. We'll speak again when you've brought me a suitable trophy. As if drumming cause didn't already give me the creeps. Come on, let's go show this thing how scary you can be. Well, shoot. I just left <laughs> drumming cast. Oh, oh, it's so wacky. monitor yesterday. for departure. Enjoy your stay. Why could have he just told me over a hollow transmission? Hmm? It's not very efficient ergonomics or what have you.
Oh uh, yeah, I don't know how to drive. This is a camp for warriors, not hikers. You aren't welcome here. I'm here at the request of Mandalore. And you are? He's more warrior than you, Jogo. Huh, you're one to judge, eh, Arutal? Huntmaster declared him Grand Champion. That true? You don't have to like it, but it's the truth. You're right, I don't. And I sure as hell don't have to like you tramping all over our hunting grounds. Winning the Great Hunt doesn't make you one of us. Finish up whatever brought you here and go. Never mind. It's an honor. Nice to meet you too, kid. You got a name? Torian Kadera. Not a kid. I'm sorry about that. No insult taken. Taking the head of one of our beasts? I'm here to claim the head of something. I'll know what when I find it. I get it. The Sire of the Brood. No one's seen it, but it's there. You can feel its heartbeat in the walls. Better warriors than you have tried. They never returned. Mm. Then let me show you how it's done. There's a bottom. It's probably there. Good hunting. the ghost. Serrated so teeth, Yeah. 
Oh, toxic fauna. It's always something. Whistling birds, everyone! Whistling birds! It's on event. <laughs> Holy shit. I forgot about that. Okay.
Hmm, so that works too. Cheering. Oh God! <laughs> He's back. How'd it go? I did more than find it. Ugly. How did you kill it when so many of my clan have failed? If they had your attitude, it's no surprise they failed. You're so hungry for a fight, you don't think about what you're getting into. Bounty hunting's about fighting smart, as much as fighting hard. There must be something to what you've said. You killed it, they died. Yes, they I did. salute your victory. Hail to the victor! Yeah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that cheering. Oh, yes. Okay, um... <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that was the same thing. Okay. What the hell? Oh, God, that's just... Yeah, that's just ugly. Greetings, Master. I cleaned the vessel from stem to stern in your absence. You can smell Okay. Okay. I got turned around. All right. Wow. 
Well, the guest of honor's finally arrived. Not much to look at. The subject's size-mass ratio would beg to differ. Shut up. The creature's dead, Mandalore. I've brought your proof. Then it's time I introduced you to the other grand champions of the Great Hunt. Meet your only peers in the galaxy. We've gathered here to induct you into our exclusive group, the only hunters in the galaxy with access to jobs on the legendary Blacklist. What's so special about this Blacklist? It's completely confidential. We're the only ones who can read it. Not even contract posters can see what's on the list. The Blacklist's as old as the Great Hunt itself, got its own traditions. I need your help keeping one alive. There's always been a Mandalorian in the group. Duty calls me away, so I want you to take my place. Keep a Mandalorian among the Grand Champions. I'm no Mandalorian. Killing that beast was your ritual blooding. So you're already and Mandalorian. Mandalorian is sort of a Cree, are, are a race, name. they're a creed. Now, do me the honor of joining my brothers and sisters in the great clan. Been waiting my whole life for this. I'm honored. Your life's just begun. Make it one no one will forget. Champions, it's time we drink. Let's see how much black ale my replacement can put away. Oh boy. Oh god. I hate to leave such fine company, but it's time I got back to winning the Sith's wars for them. Champions, till we meet again. What is... What the hell's with that armor? I haven't seen the old man that happy in a long time. How's it feel to be a Mandalorian? Like I'm part of something, not just another hired gun. Ah, oh, how sweet. Name's Bloodworthy. These two miscreants are Jula Nightbringer and the Defenestrator. We just wanted you to know we sent a little welcoming present to your ship. A Blacklist Bounty, one of the two oldest on record to be exact. Something to ease you into life at the top. I'll be sure to check him out. We should get going. Our new friend here has plenty of work ahead of him. Don't be a stranger. Alrighty. Come. Took you too long enough. You go for a job or a honeymoon? Nice to see you too. Well, somebody better cough up the gory details. The suspense is killing me. Just lined up a high profile bounty, that's all. Here's that blacklist posting they were talking about, locked up tight. Do the honors. This is it. The real deal. I can't believe it. Welcome to the big leagues, Mako. That is such an understatement you don't even know. In all the time I spent researching the Great Hunt, I only heard rumors about the Blacklist. According to the rumors, the only people who know how to place a bounty on the Blacklist are the most major players in the galaxy. This bounty's pretty sparse on details, just an encrypted hollow frequency in the location to call it from. Terrace. Ready to see what these jokers have in store for us? Warm up the engines. We're heading out. Systems are looking good. Look out, Galaxy. Here comes the Grand Champion of the Great Hunt. Okay. All 
Alright, and we have to, oh, we get to talk with Mako one more time. You know SIS computers? Way easier to slice than I thought. Which is sort of worrying now that I think about it. Did some poking around in a few classified Republic databases. Found my birth certificate. Well, uh, maybe. Found a dozen birth certificates, all with the gene stamp a lot like mine. I followed you up to poking. Everything after <laughs> that could have been in hut ease. My family's records. It's gotta be. Parents, siblings, maybe grandparents, who knows what else. Uh, no names or dates though, just an SIS project number. 32. Have to keep looking, see what else I can find. Alright. Well, let's go ahead to Taris. Taris. Hello, Hunter. Fancy seeing you here. Relax, this isn't a prank. This bounty is more of a blacklist tradition than an actual contract. It's been passed from hunter to hunter for over a decade. I was the last hunter to take the contract who's still breathing. So I'm the one passing the torch. I just need the who and where. Now that information's going to cost you. See, every hunter to take the contract puts up an ante. The one who actually bags the target claims the stakes. Nobody expected things to carry on this long. So the payout's grown over the years. The ante is listed on the job. All right. Credits are being transferred. That's it. I'm not going to bankrupt you, but odds are it's credits you're never going to see again. Your target is Jenkin Kadera, a Mandalorian who's been in exile on Terrace for ages now. Word is he's been dead for a long time, but don't be taken in. Jenkin's still alive, and he's still very dangerous. How's Jenkin managed to evade capture this long? He's resourceful and knows his environment better than anyone. All of Terrace is his weapon. It took a year of searching and a great many dead before Mandalore finally washed his hands of the traitor and left him in exile. Ever since then, Grand Champions have attempted to win the glory of taking Jenkins' head. Has there been any word of Jenkin recently? No, and I doubt there will be. This blacklist mark has evaded some two dozen hunters over the years. Friendly word of advice, if you're going to pick up the trail before the Empire wipes it out, you're going to need more than your own two eyes. There's a Mandalorian base camp on the ground. I'd speak with the ranking officer there. The advice is appreciated. <laughs> Alright, oh, Commander Fett. Well, geez, look at that. Easter egg. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm going to stop right here. Um, I'll upload this to YouTube some at some point today. And uh, let's see. I guess that's going to be it. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. And again, I have uh, several more videos up on the YouTube channel. And I will be starting Dungeons and Dragons online here soon. And when I do, I'll let you know. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Be safe. Be seeing you. And may the Force be with you.